All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. All right. <clears throat> Brother Yeshaya, part of Valley, South Carolina. And uh, this this uh, lesson, um, I started to go live, but then through the spirit, I saw that uh, the elder Manata Zakba, um, is do, is, they're doing their Friday camp, uh, GMS uh, South Carolina Wait. So uh, I'm just going to record this and then upload it as a premiere. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, and, and that's the spirit because it has something to do with him. Now, um, the, the title of this, um, this one is going to be Fret Not When the Lord... Uh, judges people close to you, okay. You know, it's just a testimony, man. Um, well, first, you know, uh, before I even get to that, uh, before I even get to that instance, all right, um, really fast, my my uh, my, my Eve, you know, my, my wife, my woman, or whatever, she uh, it's lucky, she lost, she lost uh, both of her parents last year, the year before that. It was either 2022 or 2023 in the same year. Okay. Um, and, you know, um, I was familiar with her parents. I knew her parents. Her parents was, was cool to me. Okay. Um, and it still was a shock, but they didn't want to get right. Um, you know, they're from down in the country. We're down here, down south. And, um, you know, the biggest thing that I would see around them and that they knew that I didn't tolerate was the dietary laws. Okay. No pork. No shrimp, no crab, no lobster, no coon, none of that. <laughs> All right. And, um, yeah, they, you know, um, used to go over there. Uh, they got this thing um, from in South Carolina called Chicken Bob. All right. And, you know, it's all type of pork and all type of shit in it, man. And anyway, I used to always feel like an uh, oddball uh, when I go down there. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, anyway, yeah, the Lord took both of our parents, man, in 2022. All right. And, you know, uh, maybe it was his will, uh, it's always his will, but, you know, it, it just happened like that. And, you know, they uh, they didn't want to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability, especially with the food. You can you can help with the food. And, and then don't bring it around me because I don't want the food. I don't want your filthy food. <laughs> All right. But still trying to bring it around me like I'm supposed to change my mind. Like, no, man, that's not how it worked. And the Lord judged him, man. All right. Now, you know. She, uh, you know, my wife obviously knows I'm in the truth or whatnot. And, um, you know, nothing, nothing happens, you know, um, nothing happens uh, by accident. Right? Everything happens for a reason, you know. And hey, the Lord took her, uh, um, took both her parents, man. And getting into the, the topic of the subject, right. Uh, going back to my Eve, right. Um, she has a sister that's in the military. Well, she's not in the military no more. But. Her, uh, her husband, they're both in the army, all right? They're both in the army. And uh, long story short, um, we went down to Myrtle Beach, you know, just to, you know, go down to the beach, you know, relax and um, enjoy the sun, soak up the sun and whatnot. Then, uh, you know, and, and that was a camp day. It was Saturday. And I was supposed to go meet up with the elder Manata Zakba. And um, her, her husband wanted to join in and i was like ah, he wanted he wanted just to you know go see what i'm about because they know that i teach and stuff and um yeah he went um to the camp all right elder not this had to be 2022 or 21 anyway um and every time we go out to eat with them it's like bro it's like they are uh, and i don't mean around i'm gonna get scriptures but uh they would eat like abomination on abomination on abomination. I'm talking about um, they'll get the pork with the shrimp, the crab, um, anything, man. Anything that's abominable, they just eat, right? And the last time we went out to eat, he uh, they put like bacon in my shit or whatever, and they gave it to him. And he tried to give it to me like, oh, here you go, this is yours. I was like, no, that's not mine, bro. They messed my order up. And he kept trying to give it to me. He said, no, I don't want that. All right, you, you take that. Or well, give it give it back to them. I ain't about to touch it. Right. Um, I think a couple weeks later, okay, the same guy, the uh the, the husband to my sister's, I mean to my woman's sister, okay. Um I learned that he has been dealing with a uh a ailment. 
it's an incurable um, um immune deficiency. <laughs> Gotta say it's different ways to you know try to beat the bots or whatever, but immune deficiency disease, man. All right, and he's about to lose his career. Um, his feet is fucked up. Uh, he and he's fucked up for life, and he's only like 25, 26, man. All right. Now you can say what you want, but I know that is directly co um, um, correlated to the Lord's men. Okay, uh, um, you know, Lord willing, I'm part of that number. But when I uh, told him of the sins, because I, you know, I, I've been told him, you know, what not to eat or what not, and um, they didn't listen. So, you know, it's just judgment, man. All right, and, and, and you know, her, uh, their their kids is getting fucked up. The um, you know, my sisters, I mean, my my wife's sisters getting fucked and everything, man. But you, but I say I say this: fret not when the Lord starts to judge, you know, uh, people around you, All right? So, um, without further ado, let's get uh, Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse eleven. All right. Uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily Therefore the heart of the sons of men Is fully set in them To do evil Okay so just because you know um, And it, this can this, this can hold true to the majority Of our people just because you don't um, People don't drop Dead right away Okay uh, Like you know if something was that uh, If the Lord was to do like Expedient judgment on something Okay, like in the ancient days when we used to, um, um, the ancient days when we used to, you know, uh, look at a stoning. Okay, that was a public example. All right, the kids had to watch. Everybody had to watch a stoning. Okay. Now, you know, you might think like, damn, you know, uh, that's kind of harsh, but, you know, on those little minds, if they see when they see something happening, when that when they see that certain judgment being executed, all right, hey, it, it kind of puts something in your mind. Like, all right, you're gonna think twice about doing it, you know, the next time, okay, or or doing it anyway. You might you you know you're gonna learn from the person that got stone mistakes, all right. But it's not like that no more, all right. You you tell you tell Jake, oh yeah, my um, uh, uh yeah, we gotta stop eating that, you know that 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 um that that stuff, man, eating that pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, and everything that's like. You know, against the law, statutes, and commandments. You tell Jake that, and Jake like, oh, uh, my grandma's 90, 90 years old. And she's been living. Uh, she's been living ninety nine. Been eating it all her life. So I don't know about that. Like, all right, and that's that's this scripture right here, verse eleven, uh, verse twelve. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before Him. So, Amen. You know, just because your days be prolonged, hey, you're living on borrowed time. It says the um, the age of a man is what, or, I mean, um, you know, after what, 60, three score, and yeah, after 60 or 70, pretty much, you, you're living on borrowed time anyway, man. So the Lord might be saving you, and if you're an older person in Jacob's trouble, damn, that's going to be, it's going to be hard, man. So yeah, the Lord might be saving you for, for that. You never know. All right. Uh, John 15 and 22. This book of John, chapter 15 and verse uh, 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. So, hey, that's that's starting at the top with Yahweh. Yahweh Shah, he sent out Yahweh Shah. Okay, Yahushua is the word. Okay, so with um, with him sending Yahushua and him being the ultimate atonement for our sins and doing that great marvelous work that he had to do, all right, uh, 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 being being an, a, a sacrifice, okay, a perfect sacrifice without blemish, okay, that it puts everybody on notice that okay, now you can't sin for real, for real. All right, and once the Messiah did that, okay, we went into another shift. Of, you know, starting to go into the second covenant, but within the the, the grace and the faith, I mean grace and uh, mercy, okay? Because right now we're still in the time of grace and mercy, but it's it's a trying out period. The Lord's seeing like right, who's going who's going to come back, you know, before the the, uh, the doors of mercy close, 
all right? And the elect are doing that, all right? But, hey, two-thirds are not going to do it. And, hey, a lot of our family members might have to, you know, get got. And it is what it is, man. Okay? So, yeah. Um, let's go. Let's go to Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. And for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. So certain things that we're doing on this side to prove to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah that we love him. Okay, it's going to work uh, towards the judgment that we're going to have in these end days, man. Or of course, you know, we, we've been through our past lives and we don't know. You know what we did in our past lives and we're still like atoning for them sins atoning for the, the, the sins that we have current that we have currently okay but at the same time that's that's neither here nor there all right you got to worry about what you're doing in this current life and whatever comes from you know judging from past lives or whatever it is what it is all right and you know right now it's so like you Nope. Yeah, so you know, um, it's like I lost my train of thought. Uh, verse 8 For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. So, you know, hey, whatever you do over here on this side, okay, is either judgment. You know, from carrying over from your past life, I right, the Lord just you was a reprobate and you was just an evil ass nigga. So you come back as an evil ass nigga to relive your judgment, especially in these last days. All right, it's the last generation. Okay, and you know, right now you're adding sin onto sin because we don't know if we've already been judged for our past lives in this current life. So you got to do what you got to do while you're here to the best of your ability. Because like the scriptures say, we are to rehearse the righteous acts. So we're not gonna get it right. We're not going to get it right uh, all the way 100% until we know those new bodies. But the Lord is looking like looking at what you're doing right now, you know, if that makes sense. What you're doing right now and if you're trying to, you know, to the best of your ability to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments and to serve him and to please him. All right. Um, so, yeah, whatever you reap, hey, and it can come in the form of uh, uh, dis-ease or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Judgment. The Lord can touch your children. The Lord can touch, uh, your, you know, your family members, your close ones, your loved ones. All right. Hey, Romans 2 and 11. Uh, it's like you. Uh, I'm going to start at 10. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good. To the Jew first and also to the Gentile. But there is no respect of persons with the Most High. So, you know, this is going into uh, uh, the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners or whatnot. But I'm going to use this right here because, you know, uh, some of the times these uh, scriptures can be multi-fold. So I'm using this part for there is no respect of persons with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah because there is no respect of persons. You either do good or do bad. All right. I mean, it kind of is a respect of persons on a low level because he respects the elect, his elect, but he chose them. Okay. But hey, there is no respect of persons, man. All right. Whatever the Lord does, hey, hey whatever you do, you're going to get judged as per the law, as per you know, whatever it is, man. All right. And now we're not under the law for right now. We're not under the law. Okay. But we still have to, you know, follow it to the best of our ability. Right. But, you know, um, we're not under the law. Okay. To the best of our ability, we need to, uh, you know, we, we, we're, we're rehearsing it. Okay. So, but at the same time, you have to, the Lord knows in your heart, if you're trying to the best of your ability to appease him or to, you know, cause we're in this flesh, we're going to go off. All right, but hey, if you're trying, you're trying. And the Lord, uh, uh, um, he honors that. It's like here. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 14. Uh, this is um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let's start there. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. 
Fear the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. So we were created for a reason, man. We were created to follow the law, statutes, commandments, because they were given to us as a people, part of the covenant that really, you know, uh, makes us Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's people. All right? And a lot of our people just, you know, um, just, you know, disrespecting, openly disrespecting the. The, the the work or uh that that Yahweh Shah did man when he when he um you know offered himself on that cross for us man all right and a lot of these people hey even your family member man you might love them they might be they might be you know dis decent people but at the end of the day Lord's not a he's not a respectable person and if hey it even if it, it, hey <laughs> it might be you know a, a a decent person okay but hey if it's in the cards for them to get judged they're gonna get judged man and if they're doing things that they need that you know like even things like eating eating uh, unclean foods man that's a big deal to you how about some y'all right, that's a that's a big deal all right because the the, the commandments were set up for our health so the the, the lord okay you how about some how shy okay you in the name of his only begotten son you how shy all right if if he said that it's not right to do, then it's not right to do. Cause you got Jake that 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 like, okay, well, I ain't gonna eat that, but man, pork ain't them wrong. You know what I'm saying? Blah blah blah, man. Jake, just pick and choose, man. All right. But if the if the if the Most High, the author, <laughs> the 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 Most High, <laughs> gave us laws, statutes, and commandments, he did that for our well being. He's not doing that to destroy us. What does the scripture say? For you follow the commandments and live. Come on, man. Uh, for the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So, hey, whatever you know, you doing behind the scenes, you know, hey, the Lord's gonna, uh, um, He's gonna bring it to 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 Front Street, and you're gonna be an open shame to the congregation. You know, uh, Revel, uh, Shlaki, Jeremiah, seven and sixteen, and we ain't even gonna get, I ain't even about to get on the uh, the false prophet. <laughs> Jerem, uh, uh, the dude that be eating pork, man, and kept telling his congregation not to eat pork, man, because you ain't got enough discipline to not eat something, and then want to include it, like, oh, in the law, like, come on, man. Anyway, Jeremiah seven and sixteen. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. So, hey, the Lord don't even want you praying for these people, man. Like I said, they might be uh, decent people, you know. You might, uh, you know, uh, built a, they, they never did you wrong in your life. They always been there to help, even helping you now in the times when you're at, when you're uh, in the truth. Okay, um, like I said, it can be a decent person. Okay, but at the end of the day, the Lord is not a respectable person, and if they, especially if you tell them. That is going off to do this to do that, hey man. The Lord, it, it, the Lord is gonna judge that person, man. And it might be expedient. It might be uh, uh, two months down the line. It might be a year. It might be whenever. Jacob's trouble, all right. But it's coming, all right. The Lord, hey, the, the Lord is not slack on any of His promises. He's a man of His word. He put His uh, word above His name, you know. So He's not gonna break His word for anything for anybody, man. All right. I got two more. Um, Psalm 7 and 11. Fret not when, you know, judgment starts to go out. Psalm 7 and 11. Uh, the Most High judgeth the righteous. And uh, God is angry with the wicked every day. So the wicked of, uh, and, and it all goes down to if you're a part of the elect or not. All right, of course, you're going to have some of your family members that might be part of the elect. The Lord has saved households before, all right? But you're going to have some that's not, um, nine times, I mean, more overly, it's going to be more that's not a part of the elect, all right? And your whole family, that, like family, not your immediate family, like your wife and children and stuff like that. It's even going to be certain them that's not a part of the elect. But I'm talking about aunties, friends, grandma, uncle, grandpa, you know what I'm saying? On both sides, you know, uh, some of us only know one one side of our family, all right. 
But for those that, you know, know both sides and, and have a relationship and a rapport with them, hey, when they start to drop dead and then stuff just comes out of nowhere, man, and you know, oh, how could, don't, don't, don't fret and don't first and, and don't question the Lord. And that's why these scriptures are here. The Lord said not to pray for these people, man. So if Big Mama, Big Shirley <laughs> on, the, on, on the hospital bed, deathbed, uh, with a, uh, about the, uh, already got a leg amputated on dialysis, hey, man. And she still ain't trying to do right. Still trying to get you to sneak some uh, sneak, trying to get family members to sneak um, uh, uh, pork and just any type of, you know, um, unhealthy and nasty food. You just got to let it go, man. You just got to let it go. All right. And it's the last one, man. Just don't don't get in your feelings. Don't get uh, don't get offended in the Lord pretty much. All right. So uh, this is the last one. This is the book of Colossians, chapter three. Yeah, and verse uh, twenty-five. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, and there is no respect of persons. So there you go. The Lord is not a respect of persons. Hey, if you do something wrong, if you're going off, hey, the Lord is gonna judge you. All right, hey, hey, you know, and we all go off, but the Lord knows the heart of, of the sincere, and the sincere of His people is not going to be overtly and uh, 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 blatantly uh, not follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of their ability, or not try. Okay, the wicked are our people. They're they're going to do it. They're going to say that you know the law is done. The law is done away with. They're going to say, uh, 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 Jesus died for my sins. All type of shit, man. All right, but the elect are coming back to the Lord. The elect are converting, and the elect want to be healed. All right, giving your call, um, giving dil diligence to give your call and election short, and that's part of it. You know, that's part of the prerequisite, part of the uh, 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 dynamic of being of the elect. All right, trying to follow the law, Sabbath commandments to the best of your ability, trying to convert to the best of your ability, leaving this uh, world spiritually. All right, leaving the ways of the Western world, Babylon the Great. You know, and cleaving on to the Lord, man. So yeah. Um, that's it, man. Um, Lord William was edifying. I uh, want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah, Gwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Shalom.